Hey, hi everybody! So today we'll be starting a new series and this is an analysis series. So I'll be bringing you guys deeper into each and every floor plan for the upcoming new launches. It can be floor plan, location or competing project around the area. So that will help you make a more informed decision at the booking day itself. So without further ado, the first project that we are going to talk about today will be Hill Heaven. So Hill Heaven itself, okay, a little bit of a background of this new project. So this is actually um, located in Hillview area, very, very close to Bukit Timah area. The launch date will be on the 6th of January to the 17th of January. Booking day will be on the 20th of January. So right here, you will be able to see in the screen some impression of how Hill Heaven actually looks like. If you're looking at this image, uh, you'll be able to see two blocks. So why two blocks is actually good is because it's side by side. So generally, both side facing, you're not technically facing you know, another block, you can't see your neighbour. Technically, it's usually a block. Okay, so basically, if you look at this area where I'm drawing right now, I'm not sure if you can see this, this difference, but basically, these are the units that is within. So this is actually the north side facing. Okay, what do I mean by fin? I will get to it shortly. But basically, this area uh, that I am highlighting right now is actually Bukit Kumpak Camp. So in Singapore, I think army camps and all, they are generally a bit more private and they don't want people to peek inside. Where this is looking is actually Midwood. So for example, Hill Heaven, Midwood, King Spot Hillview Peak and you know some other condos that is located in this area will have this fin. Basically, it's for you not to look into the condo for privacy reason. So if you are looking at the bottom photo, this is how the fin actually looks like. When there is a fin installed at your house, right? basically your view is vertical. You can see what's in front of you but you cannot really see the side and things like that. So there will be a bit of blockage which some buyers might not be so keen you know, in, in the market. And of course, if you are facing the south side which is the opposite view, you get the full unblocked view because there's no fin. So this, please take note because I will go through a little bit more when I reach my floor plan analysis later. Okay, so next, let's go to the location map. Okay, so for location map itself, we are actually located right here. This area is actually the community club right now. Actually, right below the community club, there is actually Wang's kitchen or something like that. It's eatery, it's very easily accessible. You can just go right here for your breakfast and all. Otherwise, you can actually cross opposite to the road where Hill V2 is. So Hill V2 is actually a mall where there is cold storage CS Fresh is there there is Starbucks and there's a lot of like Italian food all the F&B so it's actually very very near and once you cross the road to the opposite side that's where you get your Hillview MRT already it's a 5 minutes walk and if you want to walk further down the road to the dairy farm site dairy farm residences is right here you have another more option over there so you are actually very close to you know um, your transportation or even malls in this area, there's also a lot of different schools. So you have the German International School, which is over here. And you have the St. Francis Methodist School right here. And further down the road towards the casual site, you actually get your CHIJ over there. Next, we will look at the site map before we dive into the analysis again. For site map wise, this direction that we are facing is north direction. This is the south direction, which is towards the landed enclave. This is where the camp is. Okay, so this two block is actually facing this, of course, this side will be facing the north side. Lah. So, where is the more preferred side? Usually, it's the south side because why? You see all the three bader plus study is actually located here. The four baders are also here. Just to take note, the two bader 700 square feet is actually this two area, this two circle that I'm circling. And the rest of it is actually the two bader, two plus study. You have the three plus study, the smallest unit over here. And then you have the regular three bader here. And this is the biggest two bader, which is over here. So now that we get the orientation, right? Let's dive into the two bader analysis. So for two beta analysis, uh, there are actually three different layouts in Hill Heaven. The smallest one, 678 square feet, the middle, 700 square feet, and the biggest one, 721 square feet. So for the difference between 678 and 700, is actually very, very minimal. It's actually two square meter of difference. Technically, on the naked eye, you really can't tell what's the difference, okay? Because they are both dumbbell layout. So what do I mean by dumbbell layout is the moment you enter, okay? Straight away, you are able to see your master room, you are able to see your common room as well. So it's sort of like a dumbbell shape. Okay, so this kind of layout, actually a lot of buyer in the market, they do like this kind of layout. But we do have buyers that tell us that, oh, they don't really like this layout because the moment you invite your friends over, right? They just stand here, they can see the whole house, how it looks like. So they feel that there isn't a lot of privacy. So basically, it's just two square meter different, not too much of a difference. The only difference is 678 is actually the north facing. 
which is the pool facing one. The 700 square feet will actually get a better facing, which is the landed and more of the unblocked facing side. So that's about the difference. And then for the 721, that is the big difference because this is a traditional layout as compared to the dumbbell layout. So traditional layout meaning to say that once you walk in, Okay, you get your dining here, your living here, and then both room is actually tucked at one side. So it's actually very private because you can actually do up another sliding door here so that you can enclose the whole area when you're doing your hosting and things like that. I mean, that's an option. So for the unit distribution, for 678 square feet, you have 52 units. For the 700 square feet, you have 55 units. And for the 721 square feet, you only have one stack, which is very, very rare only 27 units of them. So after spreading out all this information, let me tell you what's my selection. Okay, so for the two beta analysis, based on whatever that I just shared, this is my own personal opinion. My top selection will be 721 square feet, followed by 678 square feet, and followed by 700 square feet. Reason why 678 square feet is because 678 square feet and 700 square feet, honestly, they are only two square meter of a difference okay and through your naked eyes you can't really tell the difference and usually for the most compact two beta buyers a lot of time they are a bit more aware you know in terms of price and things like that so next time after top if i am the next resale buyer coming in okay both looks identical what do i go for next obviously it will be price and for 678 because it's slightly smaller quantum wise will also be slightly lower so usually those will be my first choice to go into as compared to the 700 square feet because as a two beta buyer I might not care so much about the view because if both sides give me an okay view or not too much of a block view I will just go for whichever that is cheaper so that's the reason why I would choose 678 square feet instead of 700 square feet okay so for 678 and 721 and the reason why I choose 721 is because if you take the difference in terms of size 721 square feet minus 678 square feet the difference is actually only 43 square feet so let's take an average of let's say 2000 PSF for Hill Heaven 43 multiplied by 2000 PSF is about 86,000 so actually 721 square feet this model would cost around 86,000 more than 678 square feet which actually is quite reasonable reason why same logic next time after TOP as a resale buyer coming in not all kinds of resale buyer actually go for this kind of dumbbell layout uh. there are some resale buyer that actually only prefer traditional layout so number one is I have lesser supply because I only have 27 units of this can you imagine if you're a resale buyer going to Hill Heaven and every single time when you go for viewing you'll be looking at the dumbbell layout and then suddenly oh there is a traditional layout. I think that would attract a lot of resale buyer. That's one. Because there is a lesser supply, definitely there will be lesser competition. So if you are going to sell 721 square feet during TOP, highly likely it's easier. That's the reason why I will choose this is my option number one, this is my option number two, and this is my option number three. So now we talk about two beta versus two beta plus study analysis. So over here, I've put two floor plans side by side. One is the 721 square feet and the other one is the 797 square feet. Both of them are actually traditional layout. For example, let me take this 797 square feet minus away 721 square feet. The difference between these two is actually 76 square feet. For example, again, let's say for Hill Heaven, 2000 PSF multiplied by 76 square feet, you are looking at about 152,000 higher if you are purchasing 2 plus study. So now my question is, is it worth it? To me, number one choice, I will still be choosing this 2 beta plus study. And I have my own reasoning for this. For this Hill Heaven area, most importantly, we need to look at the demographic that is in Hill Heaven. So for the demographic in this area, actually a lot of them are for owner own stay, not so much for rental. So for owner own stay, we do need to take note of a few things. So number one is definitely over here, the 2 plus study comes with a study room. And this study room can be converted into many kinds of room. It can be entertainment room, helpers room, store room, kids room even a walk-in closet and things like that and most of the time for buyers that are buying for own stay they will really appreciate this study room so other than this study room 4W is something for you to really really take note of okay so four things to take note of is four windows basically 
Most of the time for a two-bader, right, you don't get to see so much of a window in the common bathroom. A lot of time is the mechanical ventilation sort of window. So for this Hill Heaven, it's very special. You get window for ventilation. And that is something as an owner buying for own stay, they will appreciate a lot on that. Next, for the study room, there is also a window. So this is very important because it can be really converted into a real room itself. It's not like, you know, some other projects, they basically just give you an additional space that is standing on its own with no window. It's just like an additional space that they deem it the study room. But this one with the window, you can actually convert it into helper's room, your kid's room, your pet's room, you know, and things like that. So I think that is very, very important. And that is something for buyers that is buying for own stay, they will, they will appreciate that. Of course, the master bathroom, they also have another window. And then comes the most important one, which is the kitchen window. So most of the two bader in today's development, they don't come with a window. And a lot of time, it's pretty dull and dark. And you can't do that kind of like, you know, big cooking and things like that. If you're somebody that likes to cook, it's very important to have window in the kitchen. Because with that, you are able to change your hop to a gas hop or a gas burner. Next time, if you're looking at after TOP for you to sell, I think you'll be very attractive to a lot of buyers that are looking into the two bader, especially in this cluster. Because of all the windows, because of the study room. And because of this window, window at the study room actually for people that are going into a three bedroom like they want to buy the three compact right but in terms of budget maybe there's a little bit of constraint they might be falling back onto this two bader so that will increase your demand greatly for this two bader plus study so for me definitely go for the two plus study if you can rather than the 721 square feet okay so next up, we will be looking at the site map again to refresh a little bit of your memory before we dive into the 3 plus study. I will explain why 3 plus study first rather than just 3 beta. So the 3 plus study is actually the darker tail green site. Okay, and then this area is the smaller one which is the 958 square feet and for this two is the bigger layout which is the 1012 square feet. So now let's talk about 3 beta plus study. So 3 plus study, we have actually 3 stack of it. Okay, 1 stack 11 which is at 958 square feet the other two will be at the same 1012 which is the south side facing the unblocked landed side okay so a little bit of a difference right for 958 you will get a slightly bigger balcony as compared to the other two which is the 1012 on top of that it's actually a little bit like a dumbbell layout because you get your common room separated from the other common room and your master room okay so for the 1012 comparison between these two right actually they are almost identical the only difference is the study area the study Study area actually can be linked to the kitchen area. The only difference is if you look at this, this has a bigger study room. It doesn't have an additional third toilet. This one, you have an additional third WC over here that you can link directly to your study room. Actually, a lot of buyers outside, I would think that they would prefer a little bit more on this C3 layout which is the one with a bigger study because a lot of them they don't really need like a third toilet unless maybe you have a helper or if you have a permanent guest and things like that then maybe this will be a little bit more ideal to you but between these two layout that is pretty much the only difference the last difference would be the master bedroom so this is a very typical master bedroom uh, where you get your window over here and this is actually the wall but for this layout which is the C3 layout this area the L shape is actually a window and you would get additional window here so with additional window it's actually number one it kind of brightens up the whole master bedroom a little bit more on top of that it has the illusion that it's slightly bigger lah. so basically that is about the difference okay now that we understand what's the difference between 958 and 1012 we need to talk about the pros and cons and which is my proposal for you guys okay so for the 958 one obviously it is slightly smaller quantum it should be lower and it is more cost efficient okay some Sometimes people like this kind of layout because like what I say for the other unit type, you can actually install like a sliding door over here. So maybe this can be for your own family, this one can be for your guests or maybe it can be for you to rent it out and things like that. So you like this kind of layout that is slightly separated, you might appreciate a slightly bigger balcony. So I think that is one pros of having this kind of dumbbell layout. Next, if you look at this corridor space, uh, you will see that there is actually very little waste space, almost none as compared to the 10121 which has a longer corridor. So 
958, like what we say, is actually facing the north side, which is the army camp side. So likely the PSF is also slightly lower as compared to the 1012 with premium facing, right? So let's take an example. 958 square feet. Let's just say that 3 beta, ma, the PSF slightly lower at 1,900. So it works out to be about 1.82 million. But for the 1012, if it's on to the premium facing, right? Let's say 1950 PSF. Then you are looking at about 1.973 million. So the difference of it is actually about 153,000. It is still quite manageable for a three beta size. Okay, so for the cons, right, of 958, number one, 958 square feet is actually already quite small. Okay, and then you still squeeze in another study, the whole place will look a little bit tighter. I think that would be one con. And also, like I mentioned, some people might not appreciate this layout because it's sort of separated. Some of them prefer all the rooms to be tucked at one side. So that is the cons for 958. As for the pros of 1012, of course, it is slightly bigger. It is more spacious. It is of a premium facing, so there won't be any fins from you know all the way every single level it will be pretty much unblocked okay and then next up it will be this l-shaped window that i'm going to talk about okay so for this l-shaped window plus the additional window here it is actually very rare in the market if you go and see a lot of developments most of the time they just give you a very standard window three panel you know at one side for buyers right a lot of time they care about fuma so when they go and see all the master bedroom everything looks the same but only your stack you have a very special kind of master bedroom that brightens up the whole room and make the whole room looks bigger of course it is a bit more attractive so that is one pros of 1012 square feet and then next thing would be the study area okay because this study area actually has the linkage to the kitchen area so if you have a helper it's actually very good for them because you can then close up this area so that you know it can be like a bomb shelter or utility room slash helpers room so they will be staying in this area it's more private for them if you're hosting you won't disturb them as well and then they also won't disturb you so i think it will be definitely one of the pros as for the cons right most of the time for three beta plus study and this is the biggest three beta plus study in hill heaven usually it comes with a yard but unfortunately for this layout it doesn't come with a yard so i think that for that itself is one of the biggest con already and separately next one will be the corridor space it has actually a longer corridor so a bit more on space wastage in terms of this area and this area over here but in my opinion, right, this two layout has about an equal amount of pros and cons. So it really depends on, you know, what the buyers like. Will you prefer the dumbbell layout or do you prefer the traditional layout? Do you really care so much about the views or not? So basically, based on whatever that I share for the three beta and plus study, they are quite neck and neck. So if you are really lucky with your ballot number, right, and if you really can choose anything that you want, then I will recommend the ideal stack. So if you can choose anything that you want you can go for the 958 square feet but from level 5 and above and level 13 and below the reason why is because for this deck in terms of budget or in terms of pricing wise it will be slightly lower why below level 5 is because below level 5 right technically speaking you're facing the car park lah. so no point for that if it's below level 5 i rather you get the 1012 square feet which you get the unblocked view okay if it's above level 12 which is level 13 onwards you do get the fin already which will block out some of your view so ideally go for the 1012 as well but if your ballot number is so good that you can actually choose then just go for this stack 11 knife 5 8 square feet above level 5 until level 12 so that will be the recommended stack for you to go for okay so next slide okay this is basically how the windows actually look like because i mentioned to you the 10121 one that has an l-shaped window and additional window right so this is how it looks like and i believe that if you are somebody that go to a lot of different show flat and have a look or in fact if you have visited many condos you will find that this is actually very very rare so that's why i think buyers will likely go for this as well Okay, so next up, I'll be talking about the 3 beta versus the 3 plus study. Why didn't I talk about the 3 beta earlier? Because for 3 beta, right, there is actually only one stack which is over here facing the pool side, which is the north facing. So for the normal 3 beta, it's 947 square feet. For the 3 beta plus study, smallest one is 958 square feet. The difference is 1 square meter. So actually, that's not too much of a difference. If it's just one square meter in terms of price, it also won't make too much of a difference. And this one comes with an additional study, so why not? Because nobody will complain 
to have one additional room one, right? Also, both of them has this one has actually 958 has actually very, very little corridor wastage. Okay, based on this, just go for the 958. Actually, the 947 is if let's say 958 is out of option, then maybe you can look into this 947. Lah. For four beta analysis, before we get to that, let me refresh you guys with a little bit on the side map first. So, for four beta, right, they are all facing the south side which is the landed view facing. You have two four bader over here. This is the smaller four bader and this is actually the bigger four bader. So for four bader, right, there is two sizes. One is 1259 and the other one is actually 1378, which is over here. So for buyers, right, during launch, uh, when they go, a lot of time they don't really care about layouts. They go in, they see like, okay, in terms of facing, okay, this facing is nice for them. They, they like it, the price is right, they will get it. But a lot of time, the most important part is actually the layout okay so in the future when you want to sell next time a resale buyers they care a lot about you know the layout and feel because they have much more options in the market you know they can see hill heaven next time they can see midwood they can see kings for him will pick they got so many different options so for them they go a lot with feel so which gives you a better vibe and this is something that you need to really take note before you go down and book your unit for four beta buyers right they are usually the cream de la creme already they come in they usually want the best you know in in the whole project and things like that so that is what i'm going to talk about next so for 1259 and 1378 square feet the difference is only 119 square feet so in terms of price quantum next time actually it's not too big of a difference because a lot of other projects they have the the smaller four beta at 1200 plus square feet and then the bigger jump is straight away to about 1600 plus or 1500 plus square feet and in terms of price it's a big jump but this one actually is not so big and in terms of stack facing it's the same so we talk about layout and the feel right so next time imagine if you're a resale buyer you come in and you view this one two five nine unit okay the moment you come in your view uh, is actually straight away this box that i'm drawing which is the dining area the living area and the balcony right as compared to if you are the one three seven eight buyer the moment you come in you will be able to see the dry kitchen which gives you a lot of light already and you have this landscape layout for the living space huge balcony Okay, so you look at this space that I draw is so much bigger than the 1259 square feet. Although the size difference is actually not too big. But the impression, uh, it will make such a big difference. Because for this one, you see, there is only three panels for the balcony. Whereas the 1378 square feet, you actually have six panels. It's almost double the size. So it gives a big illusion that it's so much bigger. So that is one point for you to take note. Okay, and second is a lot of time for four bathers, the buyers, they actually prefer like, you know, dry kitchen and wet kitchen as compared to just one kitchen tucked at one side. So you have that in this floor plan as well. Third thing that I want to highlight is the toilet. Okay, so basically for this bedroom, right, master bedroom, of course, you have your ensuite, your junior, you have your ensuite. Okay, and for this bedroom, because there is a Jack and Jill bathroom, so technically speaking, you also have your own ensuite bathroom. Meaning to say that three rooms out of four rooms have ensuite. Okay, as compared to this one, master bedroom, of course, you have your ensuite. The junior master, you have your ensuite. But for this two, they will have to share everybody else the common bathroom. In conclusion, my top number one choice for two bedder will be the 721 square feet because it's rare, it has a lesser supply. Next time, there might be more demand for it. It's easier to, for you to sell in the resale market. For the three bedder, actually, three bedder. It's almost neck and neck because the 958 and the 1012, they all have equal pros and cons. But if let's say you get the choice, then just go for the 958 square feet, but level 5 to level 12. If you cannot get the level 5 to level 12, then please go ahead to look at the 1012 if let's say the budget works for you. And for the 4 beta, no brainer, you can just go for the 1378 square feet. Okay, so that is my summary. Okay, I hope you guys managed to catch this before the preview or best before the booking day so that you can make a better decision based on whatever that I've just shared. And actually, during the day itself, what's most important is there might be some surprise element. Like for example, you might have planned, you know, 10 units that you like already and you go down and it's very nerve-wracking. I, I, I don't know if you've been to the booking day, but it's actually very nerve-wracking because everybody is in the line queuing up and you see literally in front of you the screen with your units that you want getting snatched up and 
and things like that. So very importantly is you need to have an agent or a property agent that is beside you, that is come and compose and is able to help you make the right decision. And during that day, a lot of surprise element might happen. Like for example, the price gap between two bidder and three bidder is very near. Then should you then go for the three bidder? Or like maybe the price gap uh, for the two bidder plus two study is very, very big. Then maybe you shouldn't go for the two study and you can focus on the two bidder. You know, and things like that. And I feel that you definitely need someone to help you along the way. So for this episode, I only managed to touch on the layout. Um, for the subsequent episode, I might be touching on like maybe location, uh, project analysis, um, with competing projects nearby, etc. for other upcoming projects. So please stay tuned. And for this series only, I will be doing a rating upon 5 star. How I personally feel based on like, for example, this time round is the layout. So I will be giving a 4 star out of 5 star for Hill Heaven's layout. So remember to subscribe and please stay tuned for the next episode. Bye!